Good evening, grade eights. Tonight's video will be on 5.7 comparing ratios. Let's get started. Uh, in this video, you are the key learnings. Uh, basically, it's one thing divided into four parts. Ratios can be compared by drawing a picture. And we will do that. Using equivalent ratios, which uh, we have done previous lesson and we will continue to do in this lesson. Making a term one. Now, that's going to require a little bit of work. It looks confusing when you look at it right now just by reading that, but it'll make more sense as I show you in the video. And number four, using percents. We're going to take ratios and turn them into percents and uh, compare those numbers. All right. So let's get started here. I have an example, real world example for you. Iced tea, one of my favorite drinks. Um, a and B here, you have two examples. And uh, the question is, the problem is which iced tea is sweeter? So an example A here, um, they took for two glasses of water, they mixed in four tablespoons of iced tea powder. And in uh, example B here, they had three glasses of water. And in this case, they mixed in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tablespoons of um, nine tablespoons of uh, iced tea mix. So the question is, which one would be stronger? Now, if you've never made iced tea before, um, basically what happens is you take a glass of water and you start scooping in uh, pretty much pure sugar into the glass of water. The more sugar you add, the sweeter the iced tea. So um, we're going to use this problem and try and uh, work through it. Uh, the video using this problem. So the first uh, key learning we said is we are going to draw a picture. So drawing a picture. Um, basically, I'm going to go back here. Instead of redrawing all this stuff, I'm going to start sorting. So when you draw a picture, we're going to take our two glasses of water here, and I'm going to start grabbing, if I can. I'm not sure if this will work for me now. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to start reorganizing my tablespoons of iced tea powder. So in this example A, you can see for every glass of water, there is exactly two tablespoons of um, iced tea mix. So let's go over here and start reorganizing. I can reorganize these tablespoons. Um, that second one there. Move this one over here. Here. And as you can see, over here. Now I've Drawn out this picture. In example B, for every glass of water, in this case, there are three tablespoons of ice tea mix, which means in this glass right here, there are three tablespoons of sugar. And over here in example A, for this glass of water, there's only two tablespoons of sugar. So more sugar per glass means example B would be sweeter. Now this would be an example of drawing out a picture and solving it by drawing a picture. Let's go and look at another example. Equivalent ratios. Um, so what we can do here is let's go and figure out what's our actual ratio here. Our ratio for example A is two glasses of water for every four tablespoons of sugar. So let's go type that in. Over here, we could say the ratio over here is two glasses, whoops, two glasses of water uh, for every four tablespoons right let's go figure out what our ratio for b is over here it'd be uh three glasses of water for every nine tablespoons so let's oops sorry about that let's go over here and go uh, three glasses of water for every nine oops, nine um for every nine tablespoons okay so now let's make this into equivalent ratios do you remember there was a bunch of different ways we learned in the last video how we can uh, write ratios. We can write 2 colon 4, we can take the, the colon out of there and write the word TO, or we can write it as a fraction form. Now let's rewrite these fraction or these ratios as fra in fraction form. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say 2 plus my line 4, and over here uh, 3 9 
over here as a fraction. Now, for equivalent ratios, what we want to do to compare this is we want to see if we can change, just like equivalent fractions, we want to change uh, the 4 and the 9 to the same number. In this case, the denominators. We want to get 4 and 9. So if I started counting by 4s over here and I started counting by 9s over here, would I eventually land on the same number? Uh, it works out, and the one way we can do this is I can go 4 times... 9. We learned that strategy earlier in the year. And 4 times 9 is 36. Now remember, whatever I multiply the bottom by, I have to multiply the top by. So in this case, 9 times 2 is 18. So my fraction over here is 18, 36. Now over here, um, to get 9 to turn into 36, I have to multiply it by 4. So that becomes uh, 36 and over here if I multiply the bottom by 4 I have to multiply the top by 4 and that becomes 12. Okay, So now my new fractions are 18 over 36 and over here um, 12 to 36. Now how does this help us solve this question for what is sweeter? Well take a look. Uh, remember the 4 right here? That is actually the uh, sugar and the 2 is water, right? I'm trying to do this really quick for you, sorry. Um, water. So in this case, for every 18 glasses of water, we have 36 teaspoons of sugar. And over here, for every 12 glasses of water, we have 36 tablespoons, sorry, of, of sugar. So in this case, less water, more sugar, that means this one right here is going to be sweeter because uh, more sugar per glasses of water. Um, the same amount of sugar goes into less water here. Here, this 36 tablespoons goes in amongst 18 glasses of water, and here, 36 tablespoons of sugar goes into only 12 glasses of water. So that means this will be sweeter. That's the same results we had as drawing the picture up here. All right. Um, okay, moving on. Making the second term in a ratio 1. Um, let's take a look here. I'm going to grab our ratios again. In this case, uh, I'm going to rewrite the ratio here as uh, 4 to 2. And over here, we're going to write it as 9 to 3. Um, this is example A, and over here is example B. Where did I get this 4 to 2 and 9 to 3? Well, if we look here, 4 tablespoons of sugar to 2 glasses of water, and in B it's 9 tablespoons of sugar to 3 glasses of water. So there's my two ratios. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to change the second term in a ratio to 1. In this case, um, the second term refers to the second number. So how in the world can we change the number 2 to 1? Well, you know what we can do? We can divide 2 by itself. And my new number I'm going to write down here is 1. But if I do that to the right side of a ratio, I must do it to the left side. And in this case, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my new ratio... 2 to 1. So for every one glass of water, there's 2 tablespoons of sugar. I see my time's running out here. I'm just going to do this really quick here, and then we'll have to make it a two-part. Uh, in this case, how do I change my 3 to get it to be a 1? Well, I just divide it by itself. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. And whatever I do to the one side, i got to do to the other side. 9 divided by 3 is 3. I'll see you in part 2. Thanks a lot.